we have a elevator car which goes up with the acceleration w and at height h acceleration of car reverses how soon after the start of the motion will clock show the right time again so let's imagine two clocks one is outside elevator and one is inside elevator so in order for both the clocks to show the same time later the number of cycles the pendulum must have swing in both the cases must be same so to eventually show the correct time pendulum must swing equal number of times normally and inside the elevator so how many number of times the pendulum swings that is time divided by time period of the pendulum that is the number of times the pendulum swings so if total time which we need to find let's call it t total so normally outside the elevator the pendulum will swing t total by t normal that is equal to the number of times pendulum swings inside the elevator so let's say it goes up for a time t up and it comes down for a, for the time t down so while going up the number of swings will be t up by time period when it's going up and when it's coming down the number of swings will be t down upon time period when it's coming down so t normal is at normal acceleration g t up is when the elevator is going up and t down is the time period of the pendulum when the elevator is going down with the same acceleration so normal time period we know it is 2 pi root l by g and when it is going up then effective gravity becomes g plus w so time period will be 2 pi root l upon g plus w and when it's coming down then time period will be 2 pi root l upon g minus w now how much time it takes to go up it's given that it goes to a height h so time of going up will be root 2h by w and since total time is tt the time it's coming down it is tt minus root 2h by g so total time minus time it takes to go up so in this equation we have only one variable tt so we solve that and get our answer all right